Welcome to Smart Bell. The last class I gave a homework. The question was to complete the table based on the shapes in the figure. And the second portion is which geometrical figure is more in this picture. Okay, let us check the answers. I think all of you completed. Okay. Next I introduce a new instrument in your geometry box. Okay. In your geometry box, you can see a set of instrument like this. Okay. Its name is set square. You can see this type of instrument anywhere. Other than in your geometry? Let us watch a video. Okay. Okay. In this video, you can see how a carpenter use carpenter square to cut a wooden board. Okay. Here in the video, why the carpenter use a set square type device? Okay, here the carpenter use set square type device to cut the upright portion of the wooden board. Okay, here I made two set squares using a thick cardboard. Okay, by using this set squares we can check whether the objects in our surrounding is slanted or upright can you make like this and check whether the objects in your surroundings are slanted or upright which corner you use to check whether this object is upright which corner this for this part is upright okay then this corner you can use. Here which corner you use? These two corners? No. Which corner? This corner. This is the square corner of the set square. Okay. Here in these sets, which corner is square corner? This corner. In this one, which is this corner. This is the square corner of the set square. Using this corner, we can check the object is upright or slanted. Okay. Let's watch how we place set squares to check whether the sides are upright or slanted. Place the square corner of set squares as shown here and identify slanted and upright lines. In the first two sets, the two sides are upright. In the third one, the left side is slanted and right side is upright. In the fourth one, 
left side is upright right side is slanted what are the uses of set square yeah set squares are used to draw upright lines set squares can use to check whether the object is upright or slanted okay then the corners of set square we can use to draw geometrical figures okay what are the uses of set square i think now you understand what is the use of set square and how we check whether the sides of shapes are upright or not okay okay take your notebook pencil scale and set square watch the video and try to draw such rectangles in your notebook okay let us draw rectangle using ruler and set square don't forget to take pencil draw the rectangle abcd whose length 8 cm and of width 5 cm step 1 draw line ab of length 8 cm by using ruler and name them a b step 2 from b draw line bc perpendicular to ab such that bc equal to 5 cm by using set square then mark the point c then step 3 by the same way draw line ad perpendicular to line ab such that ad equal to 5 cm i mark it as d then finally last step draw line dc using ruler and make sure that dc equal to 8 cm Now you complete to draw a rectangle. Okay, now you complete to draw a rectangle. Okay, let us draw a square. Watch the video and draw a square. Same like this. Okay. Let's draw square using ruler and set square. Don't forget to take pencil. draw the square abcd whose side length is 7 cm step 1 draw ab of length 7 cm by using ruler name the line ab second step from b draw line bc perpendicular to ab such that bc equal to 7 cm by using set square place the set square at the point b and draw line of length 7 cm and mark it as c step 3 by the same way draw line ad perpendicular to line ab such that ad equal to 7 cm place set square at a and draw a 7 cm line mark it as d then join the points d and c with a ruler and make sure that dc equal to 7 centimeter now you completed to draw a square using set square okay the next is tilted rectangle tilted rectangle means 
the corners of set square except square corners we can draw tilted rectangles or slanting rectangles okay listen the video and draw such a rectangle in your notebook draw a line like this place a set square like this draw a line on other side as shown and move the set square to right and draw a line same like before and join the two slanting lines using a scale and remove the extra length of lines from all corners okay try to do the problems in page number 25 and page number 26 okay easy questions then take page number 27 there you can see five pictures observe the picture and measure all sides and answer the following questions these are the homework okay okay thank you